Welcome to another video on my um, Fish Technique Hydraulics set with an automated part, this one, and the manually operated part, which is this part. So, manually and automated. And the automation is done in Python, which runs on a um, laptop with uh, Fedora Linux. Now, last time I um, made this and I um, made it more robust with construction here. Filling some water and in the meantime discovering that this part, which uh, should be automated with this uh, construction, um, doesn't work that well. Um, there's a lot of air in here. So, I need to refill it. The question is exactly how, because there is so much air in it that it's, it will also be in the hose. So, um, with the demineralized water I used uh, last time, I will have to decouple some things and then try to, um, uh, well, somehow purge the water out and then see how things work out. And then back to the manually operated part because these two operated with this one I want them to work as well. But first this one. So I've taken it off, uh, other hose on it, um, filled the cup with demineralized water so that let's see this should be done with a couple of refills. Still air in it. Oops, that is not the intention. Spraying water. But there's immediately air in it. And that goes again. Uh, another point is that here um, air is coming in as well. Now this piston here is completely down, which doesn't mean there isn't air in it. So um, I'm not quite sure how to prevent air to uh, go in, except for putting some clamp on it. But um, let's first try to see how this um, works out without air or too much air in it and there it goes again the whole pressure is causing this so this is a better way and as you can see hopefully there is still air in it So the question is, does the air actually come out? Anyway, I'm going to try it. This hose comes off. And this hose goes on again. It goes again. And on its place. If it wants to, it will have to, no choice. Okay. And see, there is still a socket of air in here. So that comes in the hose, from the hose. I don't like it and it will get more and more since the refill was not without air. Oops. So with this uh, refill of these pistons um, complete, or this system actually, it's a separate system from the manual part, um, let's see how it responds and how this rubber band uh, works out. 
Static Python. And then it would have been very nice if the motor actually starts to work. Why doesn't it? Uh, that is strange. Okay. Um, diagnostics interface. Shows that it does work. There is no doubt about it. Oh wait. Uh, let me... Close the interface again. And go. And now it works. And see for this piston comes up quickly. No hesitation, although there's a little bit of air in it. So, yeah, that one works nicely. So now that the automated part uh, functions nicely, and of course I can let it run. But, um, Last time I also made um, an improvement here, and the question is, this improvement with that improvement, does it work out for the manually operated part? This one is still uh, locked, so, and the question is again, or the conclusion, rather, is again, no, um, it doesn't work. If you see here, uh, actually this is enough to show it. There's a lot of air here. This range is now all air. From here to here. And let me take the screwdriver. So from here to here, that is, and I think I'm in the light, so change hand. From here to here, that is air. Then if I press it together, here is a very large bubble of air and here's some air so now if I do this manually here is a huge amount of air and you can see how this affects so these are totally different systems, interconnected with the pivot. And this should be all be water, not air. So this actually means that I have to refill this as well. But why does the air come in anyway? The only way is to get in is here and here. And I don't like it. Anyway, I need to refill this. So the refill of this piston has been completed. Um, as you can see, I have to mineralize the demineralized water here and the cup with the refill hose, at least the hose that I used to refill is here. Now the question is, will things go better? Not really, not to say not at all. It now even responds worse than it did. So let me do the manual part. 
see that works out but look at this this is not really rigid not really robust not at all neither is this but this really needs improvement so nice idea so far but how to improve this stability I think I need to get rid of these two and then make some construction over here because I have here one two three points um, and if I can make a rigid construction with this who knows what will be the result okay now you can see that I used the other camera again um, with a good reason because this point of view gives a better view on the newly construction so I've made this well more rigid construction but if you look closely you can see everything move it is not extremely rigid so to speak I would have to make here another construction to oh, to keep this uh, stable um, this is more or less stable and I would have to cons uh, construct here something else would it help? I really don't know yet um, still a lot of air here um, big air socket here and if I use do it by hand you can see the force that is being uh, applied here which is quite big and I need to eliminate the flexibility so the force won't um, change but the flexibility needs to change so here's something in this direction where I have to change the camera a bit in position so from here to here somewhere so probably an extension from here to here that this goes but how should that be but um, I'm not sure anyway this um, is an improvement but it's not going to work this is an improvement for now but not permanent how to go on? good question I have to think about it um, it works kind of so um, concluding that uh, reconstruction will be uh, coming from this part and this is nicely work, uh, working as long as the water stays in so thank you for watching if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and give the video a thumbs up and you can subscribe by clicking on the um, thumbnail in the bottom right corner right here somewhere um, you can follow me via Instagram and Twitter as well and um, please leave a comment or suggestion very much appreciated you can also uh, support uh, by making a donation via PayPal or IBAN and you don't need an account for PayPal to support me um, and 
You can also become a patron and have your name mentioned depending on the pledge you make. Uh, this is obviously going to be continued, so have a nice day, uh, take care, bye.